Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to XML Prague. <laughs> uh, we are very happy to uh, be here again. I think it's the fourth or fifth uh, year uh, uh, since we have uh, this Oxygen Users Meetups. Uh, just before uh, or in the pre-conference day or in the unconference day of XML Prague, we prepared to uh, show you a lot of uh, new things, hopefully, in Oxygen. Um, including uh, Markdown and multimedia support, uh, some ideas of how you can uh, customize the authoring experience in Oxygen. Um, and then uh, uh, we will introduce a new development that we've been working on, uh, which is the new collaboration platform, which should allow you to sh easily share documents with, uh, with others. Um, then updates on uh, uh, Div, uh, Schematron, uh, XPEC, uh, support for Saxon JS, for instance. Uh, I don't know how many people know that uh, it's possible to do some things uh, in that uh, direction with Oxygen. Uh, we have also a uh, uh, couple of invited speakers uh, that will uh, discuss about uh, XLIF and using oxygen in connection with the uh, data. And uh, at the end we have uh, the usual discussion, open discussion, where we want to share more of uh, our plans for the future uh, and uh, you know, where, where we are going to and also hear some of uh, your feedback. So without further ado, I will start with uh, the first session. Uh, so I'm doing the first part of that, uh, which is uh, Markdown and multimedia support in Oxygen. I'm looking into the Markdown support uh, in uh, Oxygen. I just realized I didn't present <laughs> myself. Uh, so I'm George Pina, I'm one of the founders of Syncrosoft, the company that develops uh, Oxygen. Uh, and we have here uh, also other uh, four colleagues from uh, Syncrosoft, uh, Christy, Sorin, Alex, and uh, Octavian. Octavian left. <laughs> so question will be uh, why uh, markdown support in, uh, in, uh, in an XML editor, right, in Oxygen. Um, and we seen that there are uh, some systems that combine Markdown, HTML, and XML. So in that context, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, useful to have uh, maybe a single tool to handle all those formats. Uh, because we are an XML editor, we care about uh, the structure of the documents, so we can think about uh, how we can try to <coughs> provide some degree of validation also for, for markdown documents as well. And then uh, there are people that they, maybe they don't know that they need XML. Uh, they know markdown and they start there, right? So we are thinking also to, to look into uh, a path from uh, um, evolving from markdown to XML. So uh, the Mardau support has uh, mainly two parts. Let's say a direct uh, Mardau support <coughs> for authoring, and that has uh, uh, syntax highlighting, a number of helper actions to insert tables, uh, and uh, uh, list, uh, and so on, and providing an HTML preview. That's the usual Markdown editor, basically. But along with this, uh, we have a focus on XML, so we have a data flavored Markdown support. Data was the f first XML uh, that uh, tries to, XML format that tries to use Markdown as a, as a format to accept also Markdown topics, for instance. And there are a couple of, of uh, ways to, 
incorporate markdown topics into data. Uh, we presented, uh, I don't know if you remember, the conversion, the dynamic conversion idea where you can refer to a markdown topic with a URL that dynamically converts the content to data. So that's one, uh, one way. And another one, Jan Noelo Virta, the main developer of the Data Open Toolkit, developed a plugin that uh, supports uh, this format equal markdown when you refer to a topic. So then you, you, you point to a markdown file and say this is in markdown. And then uh, the processing will consider that to be uh, a data topic. So in this case, we add to the authoring, we add a data preview. So you can see how the markdown will look if it will be used in a data context. And uh, we also have refactoring actions to convert the markdown uh, to a data topic, the markdown file to a data topic, replacing uh, the reference in the data map and all other um, links to that file and so on will be replaced with the uh, data, with the converted topic. Uh, then we can, in the data context, uh, titles are required in data, so you can detect a missing title or uh, duplicate sections because uh, the generation process for markdown to data uses the title uh, of a section to generate the ID, so that will result in duplicate IDs, basically. So that's kind of an error. And uh, the publishing, of course, works as if uh, the converted topic uh, uh, would have been used. And I can show you how this looks like. So basically, if uh, you have a markdown file uh, in Oxygen, uh, then uh, you have a live HTML preview, and then we have a toolbar. You know that's the default uh, markdown support. So if you if you add something, then uh, you will see the preview in the right part. So that's the the and you have these uh, actions here that allow you. Uh, to enter, I know, a code fragment, uh, something like that. Um, the data specific support uh, means that uh, uh, in the data map you can have these uh, references to to markdown files. So basically we can say topic ref, uh, as you've seen also in that slide, and format markdown. Uh, and uh, then uh, this will be considered as, uh, as uh, topics. And then you have also this uh, data preview here, uh, which basically uh, will uh, show, uh, you know, that this is a code block or uh, this is a ULLI, and you also have the, the option to uh, export as data topic, so you can actually see the actual uh, data content from that markdown file. Uh, I mentioned refactoring, so you can say here, um, convert markdown to data topic, and then, uh, you can update the ref references or delete the markdown file. And you have a preview with uh, all the changes that will be performed. Uh, th this can be in multiple files, so you can see the diff, uh, how the document will change, basically, when you do that replacement. Uh, this uh, refactoring action is also like uh, you receive input from engineers, for instance, you include that as markdown in, uh, in a data publication, and then uh, as you need more advanced functionality, you replace the markdown with the data file and continue to work on that content. Right, so it's, uh, it's also part of the, uh, let's say, moving towards an XML-based system, but starting with, uh, uh, with markdown. So 
So we mentioned also that if we remove the title, uh, should uh, And uh, for publishing, uh, basically any uh, normal data publishing, publishing scenarios can be triggered. So uh, you can just uh, apply uh, a transformation and that will generate uh, the corresponding output. So in this case, it's uh, you see the, the code block that we just added earlier. So that's basically the, the data flavored markdown support. Uh, now one can think of, uh, and do you think depending on, on your requests, basically uh, if people will use markdown together with Dogbook, similar support can be added for uh, a Dogbook preview, for instance, or any other format uh, for preview. But from what I've seen, uh, I mean, in, in real systems, people also uh, develop a lot on top of Markdown. They say it's a Markdown system, but it's not Markdown anymore. So it's, uh, so, so I think what, uh, what uh, this will evolve to will be to support also some kind of uh, pluggable converters for this preview functionality uh, to match a specific flavor of Markdown. But we'll see. Uh, the, the more, more interesting part uh, is the path from moving from Markdown to Dita, for instance, or to Dogbook or to other format. And uh, uh, the idea here was uh, why can I mean, trying to use some of the existing functionality that we have in Oxygen, like Schematron and the SQF, Schematron Quick Fixes, uh, to recognize uh, Markdown content in a data topic, for instance, <coughs> uh, and then uh, propose uh, a prefix that will convert that to the actual data markup. So for instance, if you want to write a list, you can just say star item, star item, star item, and then uh, let, me, let me show you exactly how this works. This project, uh, data mark, uh, is available on GitHub. Uh, under oxygen XML slash data mark uh, and uh, basically it contains uh, this uh, markdown to data schematron file uh, which implements uh, uh, these uh, rules so if uh, um, I configured oxygen to automatically enter a new paragraph on enter to, to so, so people will be like more like in work they will not see content completion proposals when they hit enter. And now if we just enter, you know, uh, item one, item two, uh, you see we have already this proposal here uh, that says list item should be marked with the uh, uh, li element and should be placed within a ul element. And then you have the uh, a fix that says create create list. So if you select that, it will create, uh, the, the fix will automatically create a list in Dogbook. Of course, the, the, that Schematron file can be adapted to create a list in, uh, sorry, in Dita in this case, uh, to create a list in Dogbook and so on. And here I have uh, an example uh, that shows uh, lists that can start also with uh, uh, a minus with a dash or uh, if you have a list and you just add another item to the list, you have add this to the preceding list, uh, a numbered list, so you can create an order list, um, codes, so if you, uh, like here for instance, it says create a code, so codes in Markdown are, they start with the, uh, greater than, greater than, greater than. So if 
we can create a quote in data. So this would be replaced with LQ, long quote. Uh, code blocks, um, inline code. So here it's uh, it's an inline code and it's uh, co uh, converted to code PH. Uh, here we have uh, a link and it's uh, converted to uh, an, a cross-reference in data. Uh, this is a short form of a link. So when you just put uh, uh, greater than, so you, you put the, the link in uh, within angle brackets. Um, images. So basically now with this, uh, uh, with this support you can uh, allow someone to write uh, in their desired format, recognize those patterns, and propose to convert to the actual markup format for the XML document. And even, you know, tables, for instance. Or uh, creating a new section, so you can just say hash hash, like a, a heading to title, and then you uh, then you get uh, you get that or uh, with a full uh, title heading one title you can create an embedded topic for instance but that <coughs> depends on uh, how you implement the the rules right how you what you want to recognize and uh, what you want to create i think this is a very interesting example of using uh, schematron and uh, schematron prefixes for uh, uh, allowing people to progress from Markdown to XML. I included a couple of uh, screenshots in the slides, uh, especially you know if you download this after uh, the session, for instance, from our website, uh, then it, they may be useful in, uh, <laughs> in that context. So a um, couple of takeaways is that uh, Oxygen supports Markdown, uh, either generic Markdown or uh, with a focus on data. Um, and uh, with this uh, combination of Schematron and Schematron prefixes, basically you can provide a, a way for people to uh, write in the format that they they know, but uh, uh, easily learn the new language, the, new, the next XML language as they go. Uh, so some ideas for uh, the future will be that uh, maybe we can control uh, with the Schematron uh, the validation of the on the converted format and maybe push back uh, with those messages on the markdown file on the original Markdown file. Uh, some people asked us also to support the uh, Markdown editing also in the web author, uh, in the browser-based uh, editor that we have. Uh, and maybe a Markdown aware diff will be also useful. <laughs> and of course, if you have you know, other ideas, we are open to, to hear from you. So that's, uh, thank you for, <laughs> for your attention and that's my, uh, my part and uh, Serene will, uh, uh, will continue with the, the multimedia support and the, while uh, we change computers, uh, we have, you know, you can, if you have any questions, yes. yes. Um, I, I would be actually interested to be able to take this, uh, for instance, this uh, markdown to HTML support outside of Oxygen and use it in my own processing chain. For instance, for Schematron you have this little night read me, if you do a schematron outside of Oxygen, compile this, compile this, compile this, and you get an XSLT, and then you can do schematron. Is there some, can you take the that support out of Oxygen and use it in your own chain? Well, uh, there are uh, there are engines that will convert Markdown to HTML, yeah, I know. a number of them. Uh, and I think we use, uh, but but it, you know it, you, it's nothing um, very much specific to oxygen okay. in that respect. So you can 
uh, just convert Markdown to HTML outside of Oxygen, of course. Yes. It looks like in your Markdown to HTML support, you assume that angle brackets in the Markdown are HTML elements, which they sometimes are not. So I have Markdown page, which is documentation about generic types. So they use Angular brackets for something completely different than what we are used to. And it will not convert that to HTML correctly. So uh, you mean the syntax highlight uh, will? It's not uh, even highlight. It will not produce HTML. It just gives a syntax error. Is it possible to turn that off? That's the real question. Because you can support HTML tags within Markdown, but I don't want that in this case. I think you, you can skip them somehow. Yeah, and then the original Markdown page doesn't do that. <laughs> You you should file a you know a, 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 an issue uh, if uh, if there's a problem with that. The Markdown support is quite new, so it, there may be you know some cases where and also there's no specification for no. Markdown, right? So uh, now the support is users adapt to each tool on how each tool supports Markdown. I'm not a uh, so although we support Markdown in Oxygen, we are not necessarily promoting that, you know, more than uh, to allow users to, to that really want Markdown to use it in Oxygen and maybe transition to XML to a more structured or format that you can... Get up the Markdown a lot, so I just take it from GitHub. I'll find uh, as I said, we need to analyze and see if it's actually a bug or it's, you know, because if you don't have a specification, then, you know, what, what you should do. Exactly. That's, that's a question. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>